Hi everyone, I'm Tom Monroe, the Home Inspector. I'm on an inspection today and I just want to show you why it's so important to use an infrared camera during a home inspection. Let me show you how it works. So the type of infrared camera I use during my inspections is called a FLIR-1. What it shows me is a difference of temperature. There you'll notice that the skylight right beside it, there's a purple section. Where that purple is, that means there's no insulation in above that section of drywall, which is actually the ceiling. If we come closer, we'll look up inside the actual sky chase itself, you'll notice it's all purple. What that means is it's not insulated at all inside the attic space. There's a couple of area, more areas around the home I want to show you. As we go up the main stairs of the home, you'll notice there's a skylight at the top of the stairs. That skylight doesn't have any insulation around the chase either, which means all the heat's just going up and out through that drywall and out through the roof of the home, just wasting power. In this bathroom, there's another skylight. And you have to notice all around, there's no insulation. One more thing an infrared camera is used for is showing me the heat mats underneath the floor and or hot water radiant heat that goes throughout a home. If you don't have an infrared camera, how do you know if this mat's actually working properly? And when I'm going through an inspection, I'm looking particularly at doors and windows. An infrared camera can show you moisture at the corners of the windows where it may be leaking, but if you're looking at a home in July or August, there's typically no moisture that you could be found, so you really need to use your eyes. And here's something you don't see every day. There's a dog sleeping on the master bed during inspection. He's just letting me go about my business. So why is it so important for an inspector to use an infrared camera during a home inspection? Well, as you've seen, there's numerous areas in this home where there's more insulation required, so the money the homeowner spends on energy doesn't just go out through the ceilings and walls around them. It'll also show areas of moisture ingress in the wet months outside, but a keen inspector should also use their eyes during the summer months to make sure they look for areas around your home where moisture can get in. If you have any home-related questions you'd like me to discuss, leave them in the comments below and let's figure them out. I post videos weekly. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Tom Monroe, The Home Inspector.